Welcome back. A strong statement tonight about kids playing football. One group says youth tackle football is like handing kids cigarettes. How's everybody doing? We all right? Great job. You guys are doing it. Tackle football is like smoking. News Force Kim St. Ange tonight introduces us to one mom who wants to warn parents about the dangers of football. Kim? And this is really the Boston University study that inspired it all. It inspired the group to put out this bold video comparing kids playing tackle football to smoking cigarettes. This mom we spoke to tonight, whose son played football for years, does not think the sport is safe for anyone. Tackle football is like smoking. The younger I start, the longer I'm exposed to danger. The organization behind this public service announcement, Concussion Legacy Foundation, says kids who start tackle football at age 5 versus 14 are 10 times more likely to get chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE. It's a disease caused by repeated head injuries. You wouldn't let me smoke. When should I start tackling? The PSA comes after this study from Boston University found the risk of developing CTE was not related to the number of concussions someone has. It was based solely on the number of years spent playing football. Oh, I totally agree with that because the chances for when you play football before you get CTE is there, just the same as smoking. Marion Baker lost her son Curtis in 2015. He died from a heart attack at age 60, but she says doctors also found he had stage four CTE. He loved the game. He would, he loved the game. Curtis started playing football at age seven, even played in the NFL for several years. His mom says after he turned 50, he started experiencing memory loss. She believes it was early symptoms of CTE. If you could go back, would you have ever let Curtis play football? If it's my choice, absolutely not. But uh, trying to prevent him from playing, you know, would have been difficult. Schools in Missouri, including SLU High School, have made changes recently to the helmets players wear, now using what's been proven to reduce impact on the head. Even with those changes, Marion wants parents to be aware of the dangers. Do you think football killed your son? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I reached out to several local football coaches tonight. One of them says the younger kids play football, the more they'll learn about how to protect themselves on the field. Also, as it's all about having the right gear. Live in the control room, Kim St. Ange, News 4.